Welcome, welcome everyone. It's time for more Cyberpunk 2077. Where last time we, that is to say, me and Solomon Reed over here, we went into the stacks of Dogtown, the sort of slums that we were in before, to a bar called the Moth, because apparently a person that he wanted us to chat with was there. And would you know it, she was, as the sort of proprietor of that place. And uh, very much in disguise, like not on a mission or anything, but just uh, just uh, not looking like she ought to. When we had a chat with her, they were not the best of friends, but she still agreed to help us out. And uh, the help is, um, first and foremost, to find a guy in here, in this uh, Voodoo Boys base, who supposedly is a very good netrunner, if I don't remember incorrectly. And, uh, well, we tried to be a little bit sneaky about it, but it wouldn't do. So we had to kill a whole bunch of voodoo boys in here, and we did. Also taking care of this thing, whatever it is. And it was a fun fight, definitely. But, uh, yeah, we did it in the end. So, what we're doing in this episode is just keep on going. We are on the main mission, that is what I want to do. So that is what we are gonna do. So, get in here... We have a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna assume that we're gonna get pretty straight to the guy. Because that was a big fight, what we just did there. And um, putting another fight in would be kind of weird, I'd say. So we have an order here. Sign-ups burnout times 340, short circuit over clock times 110, cyberware malfunction 50, weapon glitch 50, reboot optics 25, and Agwe special order. Ooh, he wants Agwe. Access to Agwe or something? Maybe? I don't know. So he wants a bunch of quick hacks, apparently. As well as, as I think, yeah, hello. Sup? <laughs> Slider is the person that we are supposed to find. Yes, indeed. So are you gonna be behind door number, whatever number this is? Okay, more Bastards. cameras. Oh, hello. You murder my people in cold blood. They made their choice when they opened up at us. <laughs> Fuck me. Solomon Reed. I would be lying if I said I have missed you. And you? You brought death to Mama Bridget. <laughs> Will that be your gift for me as well? That is true. She died by, not necessarily my hand, but uh, when we were doing stuff, that's true, because I sided with the uh, guy from... Uh... Ooh, I don't remember the name of them in this game. So we will talk or no? Netwatch. There we go, Netwatch. So, you apparently heard of me, did ya? Heard about me? How? Me, my temple, we are one. My eyes and ears are everywhere. This isn't a temple. It's a malicious demon mill. And you're no priest. You're a two-bit bandit and murderer. Murderer? Ha! It takes one to know one. So, what will it be? Will you put me down like you did that bitch Bridget? Ooh, you don't seem to like her, calling her a B-I-T-C-H. So, okay. I'm here to negotiate, as a matter of fact. Here to make a deal, nothing more. A deal? Let me guess. An empty promise and a bullet to the brain when you decide I am of no use to you. That kind of deal. I knew poor souls who tried to strike a deal with Solomon Reed. Remember them, Agent Reed? If one party is backed into a corner, it is not negotiation, it is extortion. You say tomato, I say fucking deal with its lighter. Now, cut the shit and do us the courtesy of hearing us out. Okay, good. He intervened a bit there. He was talking a bit too much. So, yeah. I am. Alias. You two have a history, that's true. No love lost between you two, huh? Those who speak to Reed have a strange habit of vanishing or committing suicide. But since you are partners, you must know that by now. Speak your piece. Alright, well, 
Heard of the SF1 crash? We need a good runner. Yeah, we, we need a good runner. Need some intel. Street says you're the one to get it. Me? <laughs> I am a blind man. I see nothing. No nothing. Cyberspace is my only field of vision. Well, just so happens what we need is one who knows cyberspace. Sees lots in it. Donc, dim ça. What specifically do you want from me? Okay, well, aren't you gonna bargain a bit at least? Just like that? No haggling? I already know this call. The Langley men send a clear message. Okay, is that the guy from Netwatch? I think so. But yes, we're looking for a woman, and she very much was connected to the net. Soon after SF1 crashed, a runner was attacked while on the net. Attack severed our link. We need to locate her stat. Ah, so you want one to investigate net traffic on the day of the crash? Got a malfunctioning relic in my skull. That's how she made contact. That help any? Hmm, perhaps. I will need a peek at this trinket in your head. Uh-huh, you know what? On this occasion, I am gonna trust this guy, because I think that he is, uh, he knows where he is, so to speak. So, so we will talk or no? I, I think that he might be okay. So sure. Well, okay, I guess. I will be gentle. This I promise. Now that is a fancy wheelchair you got there. Alright, let's try it. I don't like him. I ra rather, yeah, okay, you know what? Read. I can't see. Are we waiting for someone or just scratching our balls? Hold on, person. So, yeah, read. How about you just to make sure he doesn't do any funny business? Keep your eyes on him, Reed. I am blind, not deaf. Let us see what we have here. I see traces, bursts of data in cyberspace, the wake of someone's passage. Fool! Who dare they mad? This I do not believe. You out of your mind coming to me with this shit. Okay. Johnny, I think it means you. I think Slider just happened on you hanging out in my head. Nah. This is something else. What you see? The black wall. It bring only death. Specific, Slider. The woman. Did you know she used the black wall protocol to connect with you? Oh. Well, I was wondering whether or not she's, you know, real. Is she an AI by any chance? Speak. Go. That could be a thing, but we're still talking about a physical person, it feels like. <laughs> I'm hanging on to this little this little thing that I'm <laughs> thinking, but uh, yeah. Okay, that could explain a bunch of stuff. Fuck. Explains a lot, actually. The woman? She is walking, ticking bomb. Megatons. She go boom. Everybody fucked in the ass. Every last one. Miwa Noa. It is a dam that protects us. The civilized world from the strange bets of the cyber wilderness. If your two leg bomb crack the dam down the middle, it will unleash a flood. Wipe us off the map, just like Haiti. Uh huh, that's not good. And no, he's not exaggerating, no. So, Black Wall's why you fell out of it uh, on the Pacific, Pacific of Wooda Boys. Uh, uh, where did I get to that? No idea, but uh, probably so means we're effed. Oh no. Chill out. Yeah, this is not good. Rogue AIs will drown the net. And all of us with it. To the AIs, past the black wall, you are no more than a cockroach. 
A lavet. A fragment of outdated code with no meaning. This why Netwatch flatline any who put integrity of Blackwall at risk. It's no laughing matter, my friend. It is a concern for the safety of all. That's why you, my friend, need to restore V's connection to our girl. You are out of your mind. Okay, well, it sounds dangerous. Non-negotiable, Slider. We need to find her. Besides, as long as she's out there, they catch her scent, they catch yours now, too. They'll set their wirehead freaks on to you and your people. So, you'll help me clean this up, cover all tracks, snip any threads leading back to you and consequently us. Do that, and we'll be square. You'll be off the FIA's hook, too. <sighs> Meld. It's my lucky day. Okay, so he, is he just doing it immediately? Lovely. H have you done a thing like this before? Confirm the data transfer before I change my mind. No, no, no. Have you done this before? Ever done anything like this before? What? Be the bridge between hosts using the Blackwall protocol? What the fuck do you think, eh? Confirm the data transfer before I change my mind. All right, all right. Here we go. together now with Alex too I can hardly believe he's here but it's a good thing okay so we got disconnected but what about the black hole you didn't mention that so whenever we linked up talked didn't mention you were tapping into the black wall I didn't you didn't need to know that risky as shit that I'm putting my life on the line, not yours. Blackwall the Relic was the only way to reach you after SF-1 was hacked. Listen, babe, don't have much time. Hansen's people tracked me down after I res the Chimera. I've been... detained. I'm not in any danger. Not as long as I behave, do what I'm told. I need your help. Death. Okay. Somebody. Something's not right, Are you okay? man. Ah! Fucking black wall. <sighs> black sapphire V. Hanson's hosting a huge shindig there. Crash it on the sly. I'll find you. Make sure to tell Reed. And I haven't for a sec forgotten what we've heard. Ah! Fuck! Is everything all right, V? I actually did that by <laughs> by intention. <laughs> poor, poor Wait. guy. I think he's dead. I think Slider might be dead. Connection severed. It's over. He shot sucked. And I mean that's a good thing because now he can't be traced back to us. <laughs> so uh, wasn't that good after all? Our fault is that no, no, he just wasn't very good at what he was uh, supposed to be good at. Looks like he couldn't handle the load. Looks that way. You don't fucking say. Your G-man's a cold-blooded pragmatist. Was never gonna let Slider live. So, Songbird, what's up with her? Got the link back up, we spoke. She's fine, mostly. Needs our help, but she's fine, in one piece. Aight. 
Give me the deets later. Come on, let's delta out of here. There could be more of Slider's lackeys looking around. Take it easy, Slider. Uh huh. So before we do, before we do, don't have anything on you, I don't think. Wilkie Slider Lager. We did have a thing over here. Skylight, Rising Stars of the Net. You know what? We don't need to read that. That's fine. And uh, was something I was thinking about. Yes. Um, I chose the option to yak me out and not him, or telling me to yak him out, but it's. Uh, Consider what Johnny just said. It's quite likely that if I had said that, he might not have. And just gone for me anyway, potentially. I don't know. But I don't necessarily feel like Slider needs to be alive. Right? Maybe? Okay. Oh. Do we have action? We do have action. Okay, we do have action. Good thing that you noticed, because I didn't. No. Oh, we have so many actions. Or actions. Uh, there is no way out, is it? Nope. Okay. We're just gonna have to kill them, aren't we? Oh, that hit. Yep, yep. For the love of God. Bloody hell. Okay, it's a bunch of people. I wouldn't mind trying to do this. On the sly. It can be on the sly before we get to the party, if you know what I mean. And we can get you. Oh, nope. Someone saw me. <laughs> ah, crap. There we go. Okay. There we go. Get you. Oh, get out of there. Finish her. Get into Sander Viston. Kill you. Bam, bam. They're done for. Oh, okay. There is people in here, aren't there? Yes, yes. Very much are. Okay, get some healing. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, there we go. There were several of them here. In fact. Oh, crap. There we go. You just want to kill them, don't you? I think we're fine, Reed. Shinobi, I'll take that. But okay, fine, Reed. You get what you we're want. We're almost home now. Get what you want. Lovely. Oh, you were nice. That's a lovely piece of hair there. Okay, we have a person up there. God damn it! Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. We had you. There we go. There's That's all of them. Oh, bloody hell. If you don't fall over, this is weird. <laughs> If you don't fall over, this is very strange. <laughs> okay, we have a thing. Did I read this or not? Zoe Agustin and Maurice Morel from Zoe First. Hey, Fabienne told me you'll take care of the trap door in the vents. Already did. Didn't open like Fabienne said it would. Does now. You just press it. Is it stuck or something? Effin rat got caught in the mechanisms. Guts everywhere. Don't tell me they're back. Seems so. And you didn't think to tell me or buy the poison that you're putting out. Okay, jam, jam trapdoor is one thing, but if rats shoe through the wires again, Slider will lose his effing mind. Can I just... If I pick you up and then toss you away, are you gonna be not standing? Thank you. That was weird. Alright, what? Why do I have a gun? <laughs> Why do I have a gun? I'm not supposed to have a gun. Get the katana back, thank you. Here we go, lovely. So, okay. There are a few bits and pieces that we can loot, as far as I can tell, yeah. A gun. Components. You had stuff. You had stuff, the one we dumped. And then there is something... Yeah, you. Your leg is not supposed to be like that. Okay, yeah, pick those up. Lovely. So, it, there was one more fight. They heard about the ruckus and then they came checking and, would you believe it, their friend is dead. It's all very sad, isn't it? Yes. Okay. 
get out. Talk to Reed, presumably. There we go. Reed, come on. Don't walk all cool. Let's move on. Find a quiet corner. Uh-huh. Sure. Maybe someplace away from the entrance, because the Voodoo Boys might be back, you know. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? I do... Oh, look at that. What's going on up there? Oh, is that where the Shindig is? Oh, I can see myself going up there. Cool. Yeah, we should... Uh, should really be out of, uh, you know, view of the entrance, what but apparently you? we don't. Okay. The look tired alien confirms she's using using the black wall. Glad to see you were. Yes, let's say that she was glad to see you. Seem glad that you and I have teamed up. Good. It means she trusts you. Anything else? Song needs our help, Reed. Hansen's nabbed her, holding her. For reasons. God damn it. I can't imagine any worse news than that. Black Sapphire. Said Hansen's throwing a big bash there. We get in, she'll find us. Any idea what and where the sapphire is? Over there. See the taller of the two scrapers? Next to the one with the big-ass screen. That's the Black Sapphire. A would-be hotel ended up a failed multi-billion eddy investment. Hansen's fortress, smack in the middle of Dogtown. We can't just barge in. Doubt we have anyone on the inside or affiliated who could crack open a door, either. Alex and I will pull some strings when our contacts. You do the same. You know, think of who you know around here. Maybe we'll happen on an idea, find a way. No local fixer. Goes by Mr. Hands. Could ring him. Do it. We'll be in touch. I was about to say, he, he was talking about the pyramid, right? He was talking about the pyramid. And that is where Mr. Hans is. So, yes, we shall give Mr. Hans a call. Lovely. Might get to meet him, after all. Hans, need a favor. Straight to biz. I like it. Aiming to go to an upcoming shindig at the Black Sapphire. Lusting to dance with the devil. V, the place is inaccessible and treacherous in equal parts. You cannot simply walk in uninvited as opposed to say, Conpecky Plaza. Surely there's some way in. Hmm. I'll need to twist an arm or a leg. Thanks to you, I have a veritable buffet of limbs to choose from. Uh-huh, so you can arrange it. So, doable, you think? You helped to solidify my position in Dogtown. I'm happy to return the favor. We'll conclude this in person. I'll need some hours. Meet me at the Heavy Hearts. Thanks, Hans. Ooh, we are gonna meet him. And also we get a message from Alex. A V Reed tells me sliders a flatline. What happened there? Occupational hazard, linking up with Songbird, flash fried his brain. Why doubt his worth any tears of yours? We happened, got him killed, linked up with Songbird, flash fried his brain. Not that Reed could give a shit. Don't don't uh, don't out Reed like that. He was probably not that useful anyway. I say, not knowing the guy. Nah, guy like that, bounty on that way eventually. But listen to you, already sound like a cold-blooded agency vet. Like the second coming of Reed. Speaking of, doesn't seem the old wolf has changed his ways. Jury's still out whether that's a good or a bad thing, judging by our history. Well, let me just give one piece of advice, V. Don't look for a friend in Reed. Not him or anyone at the agency were a bad influence. Well, I wasn't really planning on becoming a friend with him. Appreciate the warning, but for, but one or two new bad influences in my life is it going to tip the scales? Maybe, but watch out. I just might be a bad influence on both of you, too. Yes, let's say that. That's a fun answer. And she doesn't say anything to that. Lovely. And... Yeah, Kerry said something about a personality test. You're not going to believe this, V. I took one of those personality tests and apparently I'm a narcissist. Can you believe that shit? No. That can't be right. That can't be right. I know, right? Good thing you're smart about these things. You're so sweet, baby. He's so weird. <laughs> like, when you meet him in person, he wouldn't say you're so sweet, babe. <laughs> but, but he does, and I appreciate it, damn it. Now, as you saw, we have one of these pods dropping in again, which is kind of intriguing. Now, 
on this occasion, ooh, there's also a yellow thing in magic. And also I'm getting money. Why am I getting money? American Animal Defenders Association. Hello. Dear Mr. V, thank you once again for your time and assistance in rescuing the American shorter you recently encountered. Huh? We're delighted to inform you that their Mittens has made her way back to Washington safe and sound and is now in a caring, loving home. She trans the transfer also includes a small bonus for your diligent attempt at helping us locate the elusive Violet Rose Finch. We will do everything we can to protect this beautiful endangered bird. We hope that this is only the beginning of our long-lasting mutual partnership. Let's find a better future for all animals. American Animal Defenders Association and other rescued. I think that's relating to the President and Songbird. <laughs> I think that's relating to them, because I haven't really helped that kitty, and I wouldn't get 25,000 credits for doing so either. <laughs> so thank you, President. So, um, what can we do here? Like I see, could potentially get to that guy, like you, at the bloody hell. Okay, read. I'm trying to find a way inside, but it's not looking good. Hans is an old dog, well-trained and experienced, heavy security presence, all ins and outs locked up tight. Building's a damn monolith. No idea as of yet, but I'll uh, keep trying with Hans. I'll keep you posted. It'll be fine. So, yeah. I'm thinking... If I just go... Ow! <laughs> Actually, it didn't take that much damage, but still. So, yeah you here. Oh, now you just walked up. Okay. Now you are a double one. So what I see I could do here potentially. Can I actually just do that? You come looking, you do that. Oh, no, 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 I was so far away. I was so far away. Okay, well. That's fine, you're just nobodies anyway. So there we go. Kill you, get rid of you. Slice, slice, and slice. And then finish her. Get some health. Back, why am I? Oh, I'm carrying too what much. The fuck is going on? That's not good. We need to do something about that. <laughs> okay, not good. Uh, backpack, get the weapons. Bloody hell, I picked up a lot of these, but I have picked them up for sake of getting uh, components. Because there might be reasons for me to want to upgrade stuff in the future. I don't know if I can upgrade much of what I've already got. But, being able to upgrade potential future weapons, that is a good thing. I haven't really found a proper melee weapon in this uh, DLC just yet, so I'm still kind of looking out for that. But there we go, and now we can start picking up more. Oh, bloody hell, there was one more. Sorry, I didn't even see you. There we go, lovely. Tomahawk, components, components, yeah, the components are bloody good. Save the same poses. Bonus, and we get to that, but what's this? Arcade conversation, Vyacheslav Komarov and Dina Romanova. What's this? Vyacheslav begins well, on his way, should arrive in a minute now. All right, I see it. Bargas definitely gave their okay, right? I don't feel like a firefight with them right now. Well, we bought the gear off them, it's all been arranged to grab the gear and get to Katya. So that is related to this, sure. And we have also, hello, what is this? Obsolete recon re uh, equipment thermal scanners. Okay, not 100% sure how that's related. Then we get Scratch Every Natural Never Helmet, Kiroshi Clairvoyant Optics. Okay, that's lovely. Carrying capacity short, I'll take it. Recon grenade and Headhunter skills. Yeah, these are good. These are very good to get if you notice them. So, airdrops, get them, get good stuff. Awesome. So, okay, uh, wait a few hours. Where are we supposed to meet him? We're supposed to meet him basically right here, I think. Are we? Wait, hold on. 
Is it here? No, that's Aaron. Ah, right, that's Aaron. Okay. Ooh, are you uh, are you here by any chance? Uh, are you here? Where is here? Is, is it this place? Can I just get in here? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Okay, you know what? Since we are doing something, hello. Oh no, it's upstairs apparently. Oh, for the love of God, he just jumped down. No, just jump down. Okay, well we can make it up. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Oh, you're even higher up. I see. It's uh, up top then. Is there a bar here? I've been here. Did not strike me as a bar. Aaron, no, where the hell are you? Got a bad feeling, Pete. Sure. Yeah, me Could too. With them cables? Ask the server about Aaron. Hello, I'm looking for someone. I'm supposed to meet someone here. Hey, supposed to meet somebody. Big as a cow cat's truck. Goes by Aaron. Seen him around by any chance? Wayne's the boxer. Sure. He was here. Uh-huh. Well, say where he was going. Was. He say where he was going. Nah. Two guys came in to see him a while back. That's all. Two guys? Tombs, clearly. Same vibe, just bigger than him. Animals. Not good. Seemed to be going for a smoke in the alley. Might still catch him. Okay. Well, hopefully he hasn't gone far. Okay, well, I have my weapon at the ready. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Come poor, on, Pete. Take poor heart. guy. Guy tried to do the right thing for once in his life. Okay, well, doesn't feel right, though. I do regret this a bit. And you don't feel a thing. Heard this song before, V. Know the lyrics by heart. Poor guy. Very, very poor guy. Severe injury to multiple internal organs caused by blood force trauma. So that's sad. He uh, ditched the fight, so to speak. Or rather, no, he did it. Oh, there's the guys. I think we should pay them a visit, shall we? I think we shall pay them. What if I... There we go. That's a good one. And now you're dead. Lovely. Got some revenge. Cool. Shed a bleed out. And you're dead. Lovely. And you're alive. We don't need you. You do not have a lot of clothes on. Well, you do, but you also don't, if you know what I mean. So there we go. Lovely. Now, where am I supposed to meet Mr. Hans, actually? Uh, suppose, I mean, it did say... Have I not gotten this? I thought I got this. Why does it... Oh, for... I don't think I need to do that. <laughs> don't think I need to do that. But hold on, didn't I? This is where we found Reed or met with Reed. This is why I didn't scan it back then. Right. Isn't it? Yeah. Coach Fred gets to talk a bit about that. But I've scanned this. Why is it still coming up? Hmm. That's a bit weird. Uh, all right, then let's check that. Fred, shame what happened to Aaron, but the boy knew the risk. He wasn't handling it all too well, so his story probably would have ended like that either way. Thank you for trying, B. Well, I did what I could, and I also avenged him a little bit by killing the people who killed him. So that's lovely. Well, I say it's lovely, you know what I mean. Ow! Oh. That's, that, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, okay, why don't we just indeed wait a few hours? He needed a few hours, so we shall give him a few hours. And it's the next day, because I thought that, you know what, I want a bit of sunshine. So, we have a bunch of people want to chat with me. I'm not gonna read reads first, I don't think. So, Mr. Hands. Heavy hearts, the building is a large in imitation pyramid. I dare say you can't miss it, you'll need elevator access code as well, 2589. No, the pyramid isn't... You want the place. I, I, when when Reed said, hey, you look over there, there's the place, I didn't really understand 
which one he meant because he was talking about like a billboard or something and I or other something not maybe not billboard but uh, something or another and I just don't uh, think I think I understood which one it was anyway uh, we do get to go to the pyramid and we do get to meet with Mr. Hans that's kind of nifty he's been a bit of a mystery and the entire game so it's a car here I do not care about the said car even though it seems to be you know, unregarded on this occasion, but uh, I don't fancy the car chases, not that much. I might do some of this uh, between episodes, but I haven't really thought about it just yet. You've seen Lizzie with so hello, here. bunch of you fancy sure people. This place hey, do seem to there. be... This hello. is a nice place, so play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere. So you're a bar guest with a suit. I like it. So, okay, this place very much seems to be... Um, Fuck in you. use, if you know what I mean. So that's kind of lovely. Okay, we get to go in here. Do I scope the place out? There is a shard over there. Why don't we go and check that out? Where was it? Over there. By this guy. Heavy Hearts pamphlet. Lovely. Seven hearts, open 24-7, private booths, VIP rooms, huge dancing floor, banging tunes, find a selection of drugs and alcohol, come whenever, but don't forget to leave once in a while. George Washington Street, Dogtown, pyramid-shaped building, can't miss it, is what they usually say, right? Okay, we have another shot in here. What are you doing? Don't think I know ya. No, I don't think so either, but that, that's not the point. Texas Hold'em, recent winnings. So Matthew Nakonancy, uh, 291,000. Lena Doyle, Jacob Ostapiuk, Elmer Price. Remember not to see to these players until EOM. Lovely. So don't play uh, Texas Hold'em against those people. Gotcha. We have another short here. Extraterrestrial Menage a Trois. Intriguing. According to international law, space belongs to everybody. Yeah, we don't need to read this. If you want to read it, read this. Just pause and check it out. Some of the shards are interesting. Some of them aren't so much. At least I don't think so. But you know what? We haven't done. Hello. We haven't checked these things. Bla which one is this? I still haven't figured out which one this is. So Halsey, Ferris, and Skiv began the construction of this Colossus in 2061, intending to wreck Night City's most impressive hotel to date. However, along with the rest of Pacifica's redevelopment, the project took a fatal nosedive. Following the end of the Unification War, Kurt Hansen laid claim to the half-finished hotel as his new base of operations. Today, the Black Sapphire serves as a shining star around which all of Dogtown revolves. It stands 99 stories tall with a luxury club, casino, and AV landing pads at the top. The ground floor contains warehouses and barracks for Bargas soldiers. Everything in between remains a matter of speculation. A prison for VIPs held for ransom, a zoo for endangered animals that Hansen serves to dinner guests as at lavish parties, a server room that puts our socket towers to shame, maybe? It's no surprise the rumors that circle the Black Sapphire grow more and more far-fetched every year. Yet one fact is undeniable. The Black Sapphire is, is Hansen's pride and joy. It is an impenetrable fortress, a palace where he can play king of Dogtown and host dignitaries from the world over. But especially the who's who of Knights in its political and criminal landscape. Which is basically the same. So that's that one. Where we are right now is Heavy Hearts, a huge neon pyramid in the heart of Dogtown. The Heavy Hearts Club was supposed to be a postcard highlight for revitalized Pacifica, but now it plays home to the largest nightclub in Kurt Hansen's domain. The deals with the highest stakes are struck under Hansen's watchful eye in the Black Side Fire or the stadium. Everything else is settled here. The Heavy Hearts has established itself as the go-to meeting place where important players can discuss side deals during their stay in Dogtown. Maybe you ordered a dozen tanks from Hansen at the stadium, but you'd like to land on a ultra-rare ray field before leaving Night City. Maybe you're in town to have Kurt smuggle a dozen crates of assault rifles into Myanmar, but there's also a shipment of contraband SATA tech cyberware burning a hole in your pocket. In such cases, be sure to make a stop at the Heavy Hearts before going on your merry way. Of course, maybe you're not a corpo, politician, or dirt cop looking to make a deal at all. Maybe you just want to dance the night away without worrying worry of waking up dead in a ditch the next morning. The Have Hearts Club has it all. Lovely. And then finally, also, Mr. Hans. Lovely. Yeah, we don't know what he looks like. 
But now we do see that he has a, a Johnny Silver hand, hand, so to speak. So Mr. Hands, when he was still Wade Bleeker, the Petrochem employee, practically everyone knew him. Since scrubbing his identity from existence and adopting the persona of Mr. Hands, Pacifica's resident fixer, that's no longer the case. His appearance and true identity are closely guarded secrets. In his previous life, Wade climbed fairly high up the Petrochem corporate ladder, but after a sudden... Uh, sudden shake-up in upper management, someone decided the blood needed spilling at an altar of corporate efficiency. Unfortunately for Bleeker, he was chosen at, as its unfortunate sacrificial lamb. He proved cunning enough to survive the initial assassination attempt, but when an official bounty was put, put on his head, he had no choice but to change his name and face and disappear for good. Mr. Hans is a businessman through and through, cool-headed, calculating, and supremely focused on his objective. Precisely what that objective is, however, remains a mystery to all but Mr. Hans himself. Lovely. And that is actually an interesting point, because if we look at the um, map, we know that uh, if we if we get rid of, for now, fast travel, because bloody hell, and vendors, there we go. If we look at this, and we have the gigs, yes. We know that we have the areas. We have uh, Dino over here in uh, city center. We have uh, which one is this? Uh, Haywood, where Sebastian Ibarra is. We have uh, Japan Town. We have Little China. We have Rancho Coronado, where we have uh, Mr. El Capitan. But we have never actually known who the Pacifica guy is. And now we do know. Yeah, this is Pacifica, both of these, and now we know it is Mr. Hans that has specifically Pacifica. We also have Moro Rock, which I don't think we have been to ever, and are we going to have a reason to go there? I don't know. We shall see. But alright then, a bit more information about all of this. Oh, bloody hell, I missed a bunch over there. Missed a bunch over here. Are these going to be the same? One? Have yours pamphlet. Yeah, it's just three pamphlets. Why doesn't it come up as... Oh, no, no, it did come up as already ready. Good. So let's check. Yeah, we have something over here, too. Oh, you're just having a bit of a lie down. That's lovely. So bar guest 18, 190 and 9910. What are you saying? Head to... You did effing head to... You're drunk. F yeah, I am. So effing what? Better skip dog down. Everyone here know already about you stealing those drop weapons. Really had to, Tume. Why the F would you, though? You know what Hansen does to thieves. Had to grab it. For someone. My advice is to F off from DT. You'll die here. Whatever, Tume. Well, they seem to be... Maybe that's not you. That's Chao Kufen, or Kufen, however you uh, pronounce that. So, alright, we have one more here. Here we go. Dogtown Exposed, the case of the Hanged Woman. So this would be another one of those that I don't really need to read bloody hell that's long. At some point, maybe I'll read that, but uh, bloody hell, yeah, that, that's a bit much, even for me. But uh, again, if you want to read, just pause the video, have a check. That's lovely. Ooh, the IP area, you say? Well, we can't go there, apparently. So I think it looks like I caught all of them. Did I? Oh, no, 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 no. Missed one here. Can dance with... Not here to... It's just a heavy horse pamphlet. All right, then. Let's move on to elevator. Oh, there was one here. Security arrangements. Attention staff, we are expecting Mr. H to arrive in the coming days. He will be using the office until further notice. All staff members must double-check the security measures at their posts. Additional tasks and shifts will be assigned shortly. The venue must be spotless. Mr. H expects perfection. So do I. If any resident incidents occur on your watch, I will have your head from Sarah. Now that is an interesting thing, by the way. <laughs> so Mr. Hans seemed to be sort of the person who takes care of this place. But this is also Kurt Hansen's place. So does Mr. Hand work for Kurt Hansen? Well, I suppose we'll have a chat with him and find out. Uh, what was it? 2589. Lovely. Let's have a bit of a look at key card required. Maybe don't go there then. No key card for the private rooms, apparently. <laughs> 
But again, we just press the button, so it's fine. Yes, Honey Dad's working. Honey Bunny. Now, I see. Uh, and what is it your mother can't help you with? No, not, not to worry. I'll find him the moment I get home. Can that be our deal? You've my word, Sugar Bear. Yeah, I, I love you too. Uh, bye bye now. Well, Mr. Hans apparently is a family man. Did not think that that was going to be a case. Kind of feels like being a fixer and being a family man doesn't necessarily go hand to hand, if you know what I mean. Ah, if it isn't V. V, my favorite Merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hansen. Excellent work, precisely as requested. I love this character and the voice actor. Very, very nice. And I thought that you had a Yona Silver hand hand. No, you just have a gorilla hands, basically. So flattery, huh? Come on, hands. Flattery, really? Seems a little beneath you. An overused tactic. Agreed. Unnecessary. No, V, this is strictly business. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. And I like your Sphinx cat in the background. They're lovely. Okay, yeah, a face-to-face -face with you. We have an actual face to Mr. Hans. Lovely. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect. To see the man behind the hollow curtain. The elusive Mr. Hans in the flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns in blue, you also managed to eliminate Dodger. Calm, collected, and professional. Bravo. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'll be done. Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Uh huh. So you seem to have plans. Lovely. So how is this gonna help you with Hansen? Yeah, what is your relationship with Hansen anyway? So sure hope this will be worth my while. No, no, how is this gonna help you with Hansen? Gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hansen sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Well, I'm happy to take Hansen down with you. So yeah. That's your goal then, undermine Hansen, run him out of Dogtown. Take it, you prefer Dogtown with no Hansen at the helm. Hansen wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business... trying. Interest you in some tea? It's my own blend. Well, absolutely. Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? I mean, I read a little about it. So, the unification war is indeed true. Heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069, Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective, 
to occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. I can see that point, yes. So politics could care less, great, but what about our deal? So yeah, that is great, but you and me then. It's all well and good shit, Chad. But what about our deal? Did my part, time you did yours. Ah, indeed, yes. The Black Sapphire. Hansen stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard, Black Sapphire Info and Blueprints, all nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Well, I had plans on indeed taking a little bit chill. Counting on something easier. No, 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 that's absolutely fine. Thanks, Hans. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Uh -huh. That's true. I'll happy. I'll be happy to help you. So, yep, very nice to have met you. Nice meeting you. Finally pinning a face on the name. You should count yourself lucky. Few have done so and lived to tell the tale. And V, whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. Make sure to plant my feet firmly, then. Later, hands. It was a bit of a shame that I could only drink one sip of the tea. Uh, but all right, then. That's all fascinating. By the way, can we... Aha! Yes, now we get this face. I like it. So there we go. Nothing new in the information, but yes, we did get his face. Cool. Uh, by the way, which uh, security arrangements? That, that was the apparently only one that was interesting here. Or at least from the ones that I've found. Presumably I can't do that. Can have a bit of a look at the floor below. That's lovely. Any, anything I can just have a peek at? Well, we have a computer. Are you okay with this? You seem to be okay with this. How are things? 
From Mr. Alistair Chester Bennett, I must admit that I knew nothing about your commanding officer's affinity for exploring underground bunkers. Is there anything else I have not been made aware of lately? Well, he planted with Jago and Murphy. I was in charge of securing that other thing we talked about and had no idea about Sinoshore or anything related. But don't worry, as far as I know, he doesn't even have a buyer for that take. Got more important things to deal with right now. And then regardless, I do hope that it was the last time you have kept me in the dark on a matter. Such approach would not benefit either of us. Well, that's a fine way to say it. Oh, we have something here. Boleslav Lesmian, why so many candles? Okay, just a bit of poetry, I think. Why so many candles? These faces above me. No more harm shall ever meet my body. Everyone is standing, while here alone I lie, grieving, feigning. One must be true when one must die. And so, bird under these wreaths of leaves, I lie, solemnly, agelessly, solitarily. Yes, uh, death gone silent once again rushed to my head, though by now I know all comprehension is dead. How I loathe to become accustomed to this grove grave. To be what I once was, that is all I crave. Okay, wait, hold on. Some of these do not uh, necessarily rhyme, but some do. That, that, that kind of caught me off guard a bit. Right then, a bit of poetry, lovely, and a very, very interesting painting to be sure. It's an Egyptian, uh, Egyptian bird thing, with a bit of, I would assume, maybe not the most legal of things right there. Well, in this town, probably is legal, if you know what I mean. But all right, then, we're going to end the episode right here by Mr. Hans. Look at these sphinxes, etc., etc. So in the next episode, we're going to presumably hook up with Reed, because now we have an inn, and we're going to go to the Black Diamond, was it? Is it Black Diamond? Black Sapphire, sorry, Black Sapphire. Go to the Black Sapphire, see if we can get in. Be a bit sneaky about it, maybe don't go in... Uh, blades whirling might not be good but we shall uh, we shall see what i can do about that basically for now though this has been ghost gaming with me christopher thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time